What's up, everybody? I'm Casey Crump. And I'm Alexa Chesla. Welcome to the Chatter Newscast. We are here to fill you in on what you need to know about what's going on at Recaster High School for the week of September 4th. In this episode, we will examine the latest headlines, cross-check the club scene, dive into Comet Sports, feast on the lunch menu, tattle about the latest gossip from Guidance, and we'll do some investigating with the Curious Comets. Now let's start with the headlines. Hey Comets, you get to sleep in on Monday. September 4th will be no school in honor of Labor Day. All PE classes will, will participate in the annual bus evacuation drills on Tuesday, September 5th. Did you order a class ring from Jostens? All class ring orders are due on Wednesday, September 6th. This week is homecoming. The theme this year is Comet Space Jam. Let's rock it through everything you need to know about homecoming 2017. Dance tickets will go on sale for $12 Tuesday and will end Friday. Tickets will be $15 at the door, so save some money and buy them early. Homecoming week begins on Tuesday, September 5th. The dress up theme is Sports Jammies Day. Homecoming King and Queen elections take place during lunch. You get points for your class if you attend the girls volleyball game, which starts at 5 p.m. and ends at 8 p.m. The fun resumes on Wednesday, September 6th, with the dress up theme being Space Day slash Crazy Hair Day. The pep rally slash bonfire will be held from 6 to 9 ish. The king slash queen will be crowned at the bonfire. Potter Puff, Guys Volleyball will all take place before the bonfire. Thursday, September 7th is Class Color Day. Freshmen wear orange, sophomores blue, juniors green, and seniors red. We will be on a special Homecoming Games Day schedule with the game starting at 1.30 p.m. You can also get points for your class when you attend the boys' soccer game. Be sure to wear your class color to the game. Friday, September 8th is Comet Day, so everybody wears black and gold. The Homecoming Parade starts at 2 p.m. The Homecoming Court will be introduced at the football game. The Homecoming Dance will take place on Saturday, September 9th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Hey guys, I'm TJ. And I'm Mia. And we have news for you from the Art Club, FCCLA. The Recycling Club, and the Marching Band, and the Science Club. The Art Club had its first meeting of the year last Thursday where they learned how to create an image or drawing by using tooling, foil, and paint. The Art Club meets once a month. See Ms. Barron in the art room for more details. The Marching Comets will get us fired up for homecoming at the Homecoming Bonfire on Wednesday, September 6th. The annual homecoming parade is on Friday, September 8th, beginning at 2 p.m. And be sure to check out the 2017 field show at the homecoming football game later that night. FCCLA students, your club permission slip and $15 registration fee is due Wednesday, September 6th. Get it to Ms. Cadell or Ms. Chidester ASAP. The Recycling Club had a meeting for all club members on August 24th. If you would like to make a difference by helping out and didn't get a chance to sign up, then join us on Thursday, September 7th. Check it out, get involved, and bring a friend or two. Anyone interested in bass fishing this year should attend a meeting in Mr. Fredrickson's room, 214, Tuesday, September 5th, after school. You will receive information about upcoming events and all forms needed to participate in bass fishing this school year. Are you interested in leading Science Club members or simply performing experiments? If so, then the Science Club is for you. Leaders, you will help students learn new things about science through hands-on activities. Experiments are the main theme of this club. The Science Club meets on the last Thursday of the month from 3 to 4 in Ms. Benoit's room, number 200, room number 210. Anyone can join. The first meeting was August 31st, and the next meeting will be on Thursday, September 28th. The RCHS Games Club will begin on Tuesday, September 5th in room 406 with Mr. Zarbach. Time, 3 to 5 p.m. That'll do it for this week's clubs and activities. Now let's send it over to Luke and Megan for the latest gossip from Guidance. Keep on clubbing, comments. I'm Megan Davis. And I'm Luke Leopold here to give you the latest gossip from Guidance this week. In about two weeks' time, the guidance counselors will be having individual meetings with seniors about college. The counselors will be talking to any seniors planning to attend a four-year university. They will then talk to any students planning to attend a two-year college. Anyone that has other plans will be talked to last. Be sure to check the guidance counselors blog to check out information. It will be updated soon. On Tuesday, September 12th, the U.S. Marines will be visiting during the lunch rotation. On Wednesday, September 13th, there will be a college selection meeting at 6 p.m. in the library. There will also be parent-teacher conferences that night. And, and that's, that's all, all the gossip, gossip for now. now. See, See you next week. week. 
Hey everyone, it's Mitch Broda with The Curious Comments. This week we're curious about which class has the most students. Do you think it's the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, or seniors? I'll be back with the answer after the lunch menu. Hello, my name is Abby Shaw and on Tuesday, September 5th, we will have, be having chili cheese fries or pizza. Hello, my name is Kayla Davis and on Wednesday, September 6th, we will be having talk taco salad or corn dogs. Hello, my name is Stephanie McGregor and on Thursday, September 7th, we'll be having Italian beef on roll with mashed potatoes or pizza. Hello, my name is Logan and on Friday, September 8th, we'll be having Big Daddy Pizza. I'm back with the answer. As of August 31st, the sophomore class is the largest by one student. The sophomores have 127 students, the freshmen are in second with 126, the seniors are in third with 117 and the juniors are the smallest class with 108 students. Remember, you can always count on the chatter. Stay curious, comments. Hey everyone, this is Madeline. Now let's dig into girls volleyball. The girls begin the week on Tuesday, September 5th at home versus the Lyle Lions. On Thursday, September 7th, the girls teams will be at Plano. Both game days will begin with the freshmen at five, followed by both the JV and varsity games. The Varsity Lady Comets will end the week on Saturday, September 9th at the Sandwich Invite and the JV at the Kohler Invite. Hi, I'm Emily. Now let's talk about boys soccer. On Tuesday, September 5th, the boys will be playing at home versus Streeter at 4.30. On Thursday, September 7th, they will play at home versus Hersher at 4.30. The boys will end the week on Saturday, September 9th. They will play at home again versus Bishop Mack at 10 a.m. Hi, I'm Zach Weaver and let's throw a pass and talk football. On Friday, September 8th, the JV and Varsity teams will be at home at Comet Stadium for the homecoming game against the Piatone Blue Devils. Hey guys, it's TJ. Now let's hit a hole-in-one and talk golf. On Tuesday, September 5th, the Comets will face off against Sandwich and Wilmington at the Edgebrook Country Club. The meet will begin at 4.30. On Thursday, September 7th, the Comets will host Piatone and Dwight at home. The meet begins at 4.30. That will do it for this week in sports. Thanks for watching the Chatter Newscast, produced by the Multimedia Journalism class. As always, remember to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And for your daily dose of Comet News, check out ReadCusterChatter.com. Have a great week. Hey Comets, you get to... Oh, that's yours! Hey, you... <laughs> Hi everyone. Wait. <laughs> I thought it was hot. The counselor. The counselor. Keep on coming. <laughs> <laughs>